I'm Maria Menunos, and you're tuned in to AfterBuzz TV, the ESPN of TV talk. Now, let the buzz begin. Now, welcome back, ladies. It's good to back. see you. <laughs> hey, what's up, After Buzzers, and welcome to the 90 Day Fiance before the 90 Days After Show. I'm your host, Alex Bowers. To the left of me, we have Stacey Olivas. Yes, yeah, Stacey, with all the energy. And, <laughs> <laughs> and the wonderful questions for us later on in our special segment, what do you think? <laughs> Then we have Linda and Twee. Hi, guys. Here with all the tea. You know that. Um, Linda has something to tease for us. You know, this Lisa Usman story is just blowing all the Ooh. way up. Ooh. We got receipts today. Okay, we're going to be sipping. Yeah. And Ashley Bowden. Hey, y'all. Yes, with a good commentary. Okay. <laughs> um, what were your thoughts on the episode, ladies? Are you entertained it. still? Loved it. Oh, still. I, think still the, still. I think this is the best season in a long time. Okay. Just for the entertainment factor. Like, I'm laughing. I'm grossed out. Mm -hmm. All of it. I'm like, oh, adore. Like, all of it. All the emotions. Yeah. It has it all. Mm -hmm. And I don't feel like it's dragging. Mm -hmm. And I have to say, for the first time, I actually want to watch ahead. You know how they have the, the next up? Yeah. Yeah. I'm about it. Usually mm -hmm. I'm just like, ah. Yeah, I'll mm -hmm. wait. Yep. Yeah. Actually. Yeah, no, I liked it. I was cracking up. Um, I thought Usman's <laughs> friends were hilarious. Mm -hmm. They um, they had a lot of jokes. Mm -hmm. so I, I enjoyed it. No, I think this is like the best season since Larissa and Colt. Because that season, I was like hooked. I feel like this season so is so good. It, it, yeah. It, it, I don't know, the characters, or characters, characters. They, they are, are characters. characters. <laughs> but the cast members are all interesting. They have their own little story, and it's just... Cool. Yes. Facts. And we're actually going to start with one of the hottest couples, Ooh. Lisa and Usman. Ooh. Okay? Mm -hmm. We're just going to jump mm -hmm. right in. Um, so they meet each other. And, but before they meet each other, we meet Usman and his roommates. Yes. And it seemed like it was the first time he's ever shown them the picture. Was that just for TV, I wonder? Because I feel like they've, they've seen her before. I feel like they heard of her, but maybe had not seen what she actually looked like. Okay. Well, those were the friends. Yeah. Yes. The music friends. Mm -hmm. Not only the roommates. So I don't think they've all seen her. Okay. I, I think he hit it until it got close to the time that she's coming. Yeah. Because he was like, oh, God, I don't got to show him. Yeah. Okay, thoughts on the, the, first, <laughs> the first time we see this couple together. You know, the kisses, honey. <laughs> okay, I'll... I personally was like, ew. But only because it was such, it was like weird kissing. It was like, like pecs, you know? Mm -hmm. Like a thousand little pecs. It wasn't like, oh. You wanted them to like Make devour out. each other's faces? I wanted huh? them to like kiss like a normal couple would kiss. Perhaps. Not these weird pecs. And then when they got to the hotel room, you could tell like his whole body was like stiff. stiff. See. Oh, not making it up. Yeah, y'all. Okay. I didn't yeah. see chemistry between them at all. Physical at all. And he I feel like he was of, forcing it. Well, he didn't kind of. He actually said it. You know, I didn't think that this is what she would look like. And, you know, we only saw from up here is what he said. 70%. <laughs> yes. And he's not too pleased. Um, but she seems to be, you know, all over him. She Googly eye. Uh, do you think this will last? No. Not at all. Definitely not. No. Yeah. I don't think so. No, and then when he He's, said that he wanted to be, his goal was to uh, be the king of hip hop and R and B in America. Yeah. I mean, there it says it all right My there. My thing to him is that there's got to be a better way to get to America. Yeah. There's got to be a better way. How about let's focus on you getting a hit record. Yeah. You got techno. You've got all these hot Afrobeats artists that have made their way over to America. Mm -hmm. And you can do the same thing. It's yeah. like what his friend Joseph said, focus on the music. If exactly. you got the talent, focus on that and, and <laughs> yes. let that take you where it takes I'm you. I'm just thinking about when Joseph was like 49. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, and I feel like that really hit him when they got in the bed. Yeah. He, I think he didn't realize, like, I'm going to really have to go through this. Is it yeah. going down? Yeah. 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 It was, Tonight no, is the night. Yeah. The moment it got real was that bedroom scene. Yeah. Like, it just got super real for him. Like, oh, shoot, I'm going to have to drop my draw. I think it got real when <laughs> she said, okay, your friends can leave. Yeah, she said, you guys got to go. Like, he's like, oh, the bag is heavy. And just, 
Boy, if you don't roll that bag, you get to the room. You know I mean? Let me, let's get some more time. And then yeah. in the morning, the next day, when he's like, I just want to sleep, he looked like he was traumatized. And she's still like, kissing on him. And mm-hmm. mm. how do you do that? It's a lot going on. How do you? How, <laughs> it's a lot going on. I think he was just saying. rethinking the whole situation at that point. Like, do, you, do you think he's had like other like sugar mamas or anything like that before? For sure. I, I think so. So he's yeah. like used to Because I feel like... like he was mentally prepared, but I think he <laughs> just was so, he was bothered by her stomach mm-hmm. more than anything. Really? You think yes. it's just stomach? And the friends it, were. Yeah, it was the stomach though... because he had already seen they what she that. looked like. Yeah. So it was more so the stomach that he was bothered by. Yeah. I think he was just bothered by the whole thing. He's like, I'm committing to coming over to America. I've been doing this for, what, two years now? And it hit him like, oh, you're all in now. Yeah. If you do this, you're all in. Yeah. Do you think he wants to be a rapper that bad? Yes. Oh, y'all, okay. My thing is, then be a rapper, be a singer, be an Afrobeats artist. Yeah, but you don't have to. But you don't have to drag Lisa through it, and you don't have to drag yourself through that. It's torture. Why would you deal with somebody you're not attracted to? Right. There's some guys that like older women, though. Or, like, are fine with it. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. no. <laughs> not in this case. Yeah, that's not this, yeah. for sure. Yeah, you you're, you have a point. There's there people are, like, like I've Usher. Seen yeah, like, there's... he likes older women. Mm-hmm. He's known to date older women. But I don't think this is a no. Usman <laughs> Soulja Boy situation. <laughs> I feel you. Um, moving on to Ed and Rosemary. Okay, so we officially... <laughs> meet Rosemary Mm -hmm. and her sister and a comment she made was you know this that and the third I don't not exact but like this that and the third isn't right but it's okay because he's rich thoughts Mm -hmm. rich compared to them I guess but yeah compared to them because you know they're not living well Mm -hmm. we saw how their whole situation Mm -hmm. how they were living sharing um, a place and her son is living with them there's a lot going on and oftentimes uh in third world countries, they think that everything about America is rich. Every American is rich. They all have money. Like, just from the images they see on TV mm-hmm. and the things that they hear. So, rich, like, she thinks he's rich. She mm-hmm. thinks that uh, that's why she wants, like, the Rosemary wants her son to call him daddy. It's because she wants him her to literally have a good life. To have a good and life. And right. having a good life means, yeah, I'm gonna sacrifice this. It's a similar story to what we just talked about where I don't think she really is in love with Ed. Mm-hmm. I think that he amuses her, but I also think she's thinking long term for her life and for her mm-hmm. family. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> and I think that's why when they met in the in the airport you know, she wasn't too bothered with his look. She was like, "You're that's fine for me. Yeah, <laughs> it's enough. Yeah. yeah. She's I, think like, she... I was expecting you to be, yeah, my height, but... And it's interesting, though. She, I think she's 99% in it just for the money. I don't think she's... Yeah, I think she for thinks sure. he's funny, but she's oh, so like, I'm going to go through... On that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's right there. But I wonder what's going to happen when she finds out that he's not trying to have no... Babies. Babies. Do you guys she's think... just going to really have her son OD on daddy. You know, it's gonna be yeah. daddy, 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 this, daddy, that. Yeah. Do you guys think it's the reason why she wants to have kids too? Is to like lock it down more? One thousand percent. Absolutely. One thousand percent. Damn. Like, how do you get where? Even if you're not attracted to the person. I'm... <laughs> and now he's gonna have to deal with the sister too, because let's not forget that the sister asked for money. Maria, Maria asked for, asked money. for money. She prior did. to him even going over there. So that's interesting. He um, keeps saying. You know, I'm not attractive. I'm not attractive. But like you said, I don't think that she even cares. It's a family plan. It is. <clears throat> and she I knows, want him to knows. stop saying that. Yeah, just stop saying that. And mm-hmm. he has a huge personality. Yeah. Big egg. Come mm-hmm. on. Yeah. I like him. I like him, too. I like yeah. him, too. He's grown on yeah. me. I, I do think it's going to be interesting to see the dynamics with him and her dad, Freddie. But her dad is so chill, though. I don't think he's... It's he's be- not going to say too much. Mm, I don't know. We'll see. You think so? I think so. I think that it's more than he knows. I think he knows that Big Ed can provide a better life for his daughter than he can. Yeah, but I think he's mostly concerned about the huge age gap. And he said that she's still really young. Yeah. And he knows his daughter, right? So, you know, we'll see. See how it plays out. We shall see. Next up, Jeffrey and Varia. Mm. A lot of... Awkwardness. Awkwardness with this couple. Hiding. Um, have you had any moment 
on screen with this couple um, that has made you feel like they are meant to be? No. Not, not one. No chemistry. I don't see any chemistry. And you them. can't force chemistry. No. If it's not there, it's not there. I feel like they're forced. Very. Having to plan every little thing. Like, like this okay, is how come you should close do this. And yeah, it was weird. Every, you know? I feel like he's not being himself. He's just, like, super scared because he doesn't want her to find out all his past with this that he was a convict. You know what I mean? Like, all these things he doesn't want her to know, so he's just like, <gasps> I'm so scared. Like, the whole time he's thinking like that. So there's he's not relaxed. He's not chill. He's not hanging out. He's not... You know, he's just thinking about that. Yeah, they're very, they're and both maybe he's very uptight. Awkward. Yeah. I think he's only uptight because, like you said, he's hiding a lot from her. And I think that, I don't know, like he, this one, this one has my eye open. Like, I'm trying to figure out, like, what his story is. Because even when she mentioned the part where, like, she said, why didn't you tell me you have three kids? And he's like, well, I didn't not tell you. I just didn't mention it. Yeah. Well, yeah, as a single sick. person <clears throat> and your children are your main focus in your life, how do you just not mention that you have three of them? Mm-hmm. That's just, that's a red flag. I right. feel like he's studying her right now. And just mm. seeing how she's going to react to stuff. I don't well, know. I just feel like weird vibes. he really doesn't want to be there or be with her. And he's like, even when they were eating, he's just like, they just threw whatever on the plate and called it a meal. I'm just like, he's just being so, like, just negative. Temper issues, you think? I don't know what it is, but I think he comes off as this sweet Southern man, and I think there's a lot, there's a dark side to this man. That's all I see, sorry. Yeah. I'm trying to, like, hold back, but that's all I see. <laughs> I feel like he has a huge dark side mm-hmm. that he's, like, Trying to, trying to control, mm-hmm. and that's what's making him seem so uncomfortable mm-hmm. and like a robot, she said, yeah. is because... And I think we even see it in a, in a future episode where he flashes on her. So, yeah, I don't know. This couple is weird. And yeah. I think it's a good idea that she didn't stay with him. And I don't know if she's going to stay the night this this episode or what. But I hope hmm. not. Have a I, plan B, girl. Have I think she might. B. But to his credit, that food looked gross. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> but I just feel like he didn't even have to say it to... The camera, like, I, even though he didn't say it in front of her, yeah, it was just one of those things where it was just kind of like you, he didn't even have to, like, yeah. And I don't even think it looked that gross, to be honest. It, I think it, I'm so. one of those people that I think that uh, I'm open to trying new things, and even if I don't like it, I'm not gonna make a big deal, like, oh, they should never right. have made it this yeah, way. Yeah, he, he, Dude, he she, definitely she, did extras. She was opening you up to her culture, culture. and that's something that is maybe a cultural delicacy. Have some respect. You may not like it, and you don't have to finish it, but you can try it and be like, "Hey, it's not for me," or whatever. Mm-hmm. That's it. Yeah, yeah, I think I definitely think he did extras. Like, you don't have to do all that. Just yeah. say, "I'm, I'm good." Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm waiting for him to like flip a table or something. Same, oh yeah, it's girl, gonna same. happen. It's gonna I'm happen. waiting for it. I'm sure. like, Ooh. I see it. And the fact one one more thing about that, he didn't really want to talk about his ex, was concerning. Yeah, he just feels like... But some people don't. Some people don't like the, well, why did you guys break up question. What? But you why? Need you need to know that. Because yeah, to me, I that think... tells me that you've done some self-reflection. You can't it, You can't successfully enter into a new relationship <coughs> without assessing the previous relationship. Mm-hmm. And the fact that you don't want to bring it up tells me that you haven't dealt with whatever drama came with that. All the time? That is always that way, though? Yeah, that's just life. That, I mean, it doesn't even have to be relationships. It could be anything. Did you properly assess what happened in that previous situation before entering into a new one? And we know from his history that those aren't easy things. Like, his past relationship is it, allegedly is not that great, mm-hmm. right? So for her, him to be hiding that, that's a huge thing. If those things are true, then she needs to know. But do you think any of that has to do with the son that he lost? Maybe that's somewhere that no. he doesn't want to... I mean, go right now. He it, doesn't have to bring up the son. What happened in the relationship? But don't you think that the son, what losing the son had something to do with the, the relationship? Possibly. Didn't he drag I mean, her around a room? I'm just saying, you know. I see oh what you're saying. The, so I think couple, that if like we're talking causing specifically. The crazy fights, yeah. If, if we're talking specifically about that ex and that situation, yeah, 1,000%, he's still healing. Mm-hmm. But he's had other exes in between right, where he's st- those situations have been very serious, allegedly. Mm-hmm. So if he has to bring his whole backstory up, that's a whole backstory, and I think that's what he's trying to hide from her, is the whole thing. Yes, yeah. it's part grief, but it's also about all the allegations around his exes. Right. 
We'll find out more. I think he just saw her personality and it's she's not as naive as he thought he, she would be. So he when you meet someone in person, it's different. She's stronger. She's asking questions. He doesn't like it. Yep. Which is why he said, I'm intimidated by yep. you. Mm. Yep. Okay. Facts. Facts, <laughs> facts, facts, facts. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, Avery and Ash. So, I like these really two. with this, she's just on her way to see her man. But we do get to see him and how he moves around his city and what he does for work. And he is a flirt in his flower man, his florist, showed us that. He's like, he's in here all the time. And I'm like, huh? Brow right. up. Like, what is he always buying flowers for women? Are these the clients or are these the many women that he's dating? What are your thoughts? Ash is a player, player from the Himalayas. Player, <laughs> I'm telling I'm you. Player, player, player from the Himalayas. Himalayas. <laughs> I promise you. That's the vibe that I got. No, yeah, I get, I get player vibes. Yeah. When he hit on his... Hit or complimented that girl when she came or one of his, his clients. clients. Yeah, and like makeup looks on point. It's like, why do you need to? Why? Like, I know he's I trying feel like to. He like, was just gassing her though. Okay, because yeah. he didn't seem really attractive. Like, mm-hmm. you think he's just bsing her to just, just like, like you're my client. Well, I gotta be, work. Well, it. not even that, but I think he probably knows her backstory. Like, just trying to build oh, okay. up her confidence. Like, okay. you look great. You know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I have a question. <laughs> Can you be a relationship coach and not be in a relationship? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, that's I a good one. I don't because there's therapists that aren't married. You know, a marriage, lot of people, family therapists. And then they say like giving advice. You know, you can give yeah, advice, but you may place. not take your own advice sometimes. You know what I mean? And then mm. you hear stories about like psychologists and psychiatrists really being nuts. You yeah, know, being like crazy. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Not everybody. Not everybody. <laughs> <laughs> don't <laughs> drag me. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just throwing it out there. It's something that I, was, I thought of. Because uh, have you ever given? advice that you didn't take 100 percent all the time <laughs> yeah and i think that's kind of how it is it's like i can really help you but i'm struggling with my right, 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 right. <laughs> that's just that's what i see when i see ash and i feel like for me when i was watching him gas her up mm-hmm. it was more like this is how i'm getting my check she thinks i'm <laughs> cute she's over here <laughs> he plays and on that. blush he loves it and if that's what he has to do, give you one or two compliments during your little session to get his check. That's what he's going to do. I would give five mm-hmm. if I had to, if that's how I'm making my living. So. I like their meetup at the airport. I felt yeah. like theirs was the most genuine, <laughs> genuine. and mm-hmm. really like natural feeling compared to any of the ones that I've seen so far. They're like mm-hmm. attracted to each other and yeah. their personalities and they have a lot in common, they I do. feel like. And they communicate. Like when he was like, oh my God, I'm so nervous. And she's like, oh, I'm so nervous and I'm shaking. Like you could see like that's real. Yeah. You know, they had that nine month anticipation. That build up. The build up. And so that's I just best. appreciated <laughs> how open and honest and Real that seemed. I liked it a lot. Yeah. Yeah, because a lot of people hold that back and they're yeah. like, I'm not going to say anything. I mean, if you yeah. compare it to the Jeffrey situation where, you know, they're both like this. It's the opposite, yeah. But I'm wondering if they're really still going on because I was looking at Avery's IG page yeah. and he's not on there at all. I know. It's like no Ash, no signs of Ash at all. Mm. Linda. I think they're still together. Uh, And, you know, I have the receipts from last week that he's gone to see her a few times. I think that they're under strict NDA. And I think that TLC doesn't want them to put anything else out there that is ahead of whatever Mm. the episodes are. But why them? Because everybody else does. Everybody else puts out something. We know something. But you kind of... They kind of don't look at look at the Darcys in the past. Darcy would post about herself, but not about any anyone else. She'd talk about it, or she'd do like a story, but they don't. If you really dig into their Instagrams, mm-hmm. they don't really post about each other until after their season is over. Interesting. Do you, do you know why he broke up with his ex wife? Right. Uh, yeah, he said they grew apart. Yeah, he said they just grew apart. That yep. happens. Yeah, that's that's a cop out excuse too. I want really. Why did you guys break that's up? That's general. Yeah. Well, Yolanda <laughs> probably <laughs> won't ever get the chance to grow apart from Williams Poor because Yolanda. you know, per the tea we got from Linda last week, <laughs> he is not even a real person. Okay, and I don't think that he that Yolanda <laughs> understands that. 
Um, Stacey, would, what are your thoughts? Oh, oh I would say I think she's like old school and like she doesn't know the social. No, there are people that are older that know social media because I know people are going to come at me. But I'm saying like she doesn't know like oh my god his social media everything is gone everything what happened to him instead of like oh he's that's fake. he's ghosting you. Like so you know I what was I mean? like, watching I feel like she her. Might not get it. I was watching her and I was trying to figure out is she being genuine? Is she like genuinely not knowing what's going on is or this is acting? this an act? Uh-oh. Because I'm like this is just too delusional. This is just too dingy. Like, you have to know that this man is playing you. And the fact that she kept picking up the phone, calling him and texting him was driving me nuts. Like a stalker. Like, you know, if that was if if it was if that was your daughter in your shoes doing what you were doing, you would snatch the phone from her immediately. Yeah. Like, stop. You're making a fool out of yourself. But is this like our, like the younger generation like knowing not to do that? Like you know what I mean? Because no. it's like the old school generation. It's she's like, a grown woman. She's <laughs> yeah. super grown. And you, know, you know what I want to say is that she, I do, like, but she she's raising that's true. sons and daughters, so f- men and women, and I don't care how old she is, she knows better. Do you know what I mean? Like this guy's not answering your calls. You've never ever seen him in real life. You met him on Instagram. He doesn't know the airport. He doesn't know the airport. The <laughs> accent is not a British accent. <laughs> and then when you're, then you you go to Cameron and says, say you're c- confused why he's not answering. Is he getting go- cold feet? It must all be a misunderstanding. No, girl, he is ghosting you. He's gone. And anyone <clears throat> of any age knows what ghosting is. If yeah. he's not answering, if she's not answering, bah. Yeah. Yeah. Even if she grew up in the time with the rotary phone. Oh, stop. <laughs> she knows. <laughs> she He's knows. not answering her calls. <laughs> and I mean, she knows enough for somebody to be sliding into her DMs. So, yeah. come on. She, she ain't that old. True. She's not. Nothing. <laughs> Stacey's like, I just was trying to have her like, Stacey's like, Stacey's like, like right, trying to give her the down. benefit of the doubt. Yes, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. That is so funny. Okay, moving <laughs> on to Darcy and Tom, just uh, real quick, picking up, because we kind of talked about it last week, just with Darcy um, getting ghosted, too. Mm-hmm. Tom doesn't care. Do you think that they will actually meet up again? Yes. My, yeah. My thing is why, though? Because she was like, I just want to find out what's going on. There's nothing to find out. You saw the Instagram pictures. We don't have nothing else to talk about. You're done. Right. I, I like the twist though. I like that Florian sent the pictures to Stacy. Yeah, he sent it to Darcy. Darcy because like, how did you get it? Like, wait, what's happening? Did you get it online? Did he send them? Like, I I like that twist of it all. Yeah. Um, well, well I think Instagram? he posted he posted them on but IG. They don't and then, follow. And they we, blocked each other. Yeah, they blocked, they blocked each, each other. other. So that's how he captured it. And I'm assuming, I don't know. I, I don't want to. I assume. just think it's interesting but, how they blocked each other and they don't. They don't talk, but then she thinks they're still kind of together. Right, well, and then she feels like she's being deceived by him, but yeah. he's showing you exactly who he is. I, so what part is deceiving? I think that what I gathered from that is that they were kind of on a break, oh, okay. which is why I don't do breaks, because that leaves too much gray area for crazy behavior like that. I was Would you do trying. a break if you guys decided, hey, we're going to take a break, but you cannot talk to anyone else? That's not a break. That's a what? Just say that. <laughs> We're gonna yeah, take a break. I would. We're gonna relax. But the oh. break can just seriously just be from do that. each other, not oh, okay. to go out to um, date other, explore other, other people. options. Would you do that? As long yeah. as you know that there's no. I, I would do that because there needs to be boundaries. The, right. the thing with breaks is people use that as like free time to go and get it popping. Or one <laughs> one person's like resenting the other person for wanting that. Yeah, yeah but the fact that he. They're on this break, which is what didn't sound like that long, maybe two weeks max. Ooh. And he's already posting, making an Instagram official with yeah, somebody oh, else. Uh. So were those for like maybe pokes at her? Maybe like how Jesse face. would do that. You dating me, we are not taking any breaks. There's no breaks. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't remember together or, or we're not, not together. Or yeah, not together. Yeah. We're not breaking so that there's this confusion that... Oh, nope. you can't talk to this person, but you can go. F- no, nah, that yeah. you're either in it or you're not in it. Yeah. Agreed. And I think that they were not in it, and I think that she was holding on to the relationship longer than it was. And when mm. he said, you know, we had a what are romantic notions toward yeah. each yeah. other? Yeah, she was like, like a notion. Notion. That means you were not even in. It's like a relationship. It was just like an yeah. It's like messing with you. Yeah. 
He's playing. He was playing mind games with her. For I sure. think it was more so him playing mind games with her. The picture, yeah. huh? Yeah, yeah well, I think the picture could have. All right, ladies, we're going to move on okay. to <laughs> Stephanie and Erica. Um, we kind of a little talked about her as well and mm-hmm. how she's going to have to come out to her mom. She had the opportunity to come out to her family altogether before she took off. What were your thoughts about her not taking this opportunity to do so? I got that the dad and the brother knew. Mm-hmm. Because they just seemed the brother was like, "Oh, really?" And you know, how do you know this? For I just got the feeling that they knew mm-hmm. that this was a special friend. <laughs> okay, that's without what I being... gathered. Without saying it, I think they knew mm-hmm. just mm-hmm. from their tone, Linda, and the way they were asking her. Yeah, um, I I can't really put a gauge on her. I like I like this setup so far, and the YouTuber and all this, and how she's really close with her mom, but. I feel like uh, if you're that close with your family, then, you know, you would just be open. Do you know what I mean? Like That's where I am with you. I'm close with my mom, and I know that a lot of the stuff that I do, she's just like, Linda, seriously. Seriously. But she'll always support me. She Mm -hmm. may not agree with it, but she'll always support me. So I, I can't imagine having such a huge secret from someone that I'm so close to, like, Sit your family down. They're going to love you anyways. Yeah, and I think that's what's going to hurt her mom the most is it's not not the fact that you are attracted to the same sex. It's the fact that you didn't feel like you could tell me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think that may be the issue and may even cause a little fogginess in their relationship. And you don't want that. Um, I I know some people. mom might know. Everyone has a reason, though. Some people just don't feel comfortable right then. You have to come out when you're ready. Absolutely. Um, but I do hope that it doesn't affect the relationship she has with her mom only because she didn't feel like she could tell her. And they think that they're close. What are your thoughts? I think the mom's in denial. I think the mom probably knows a little knows. bit, but she just doesn't want to even mm-hmm. like talk about yeah, it. Yeah, I think the dad and the brother are more like, okay, my sister, yeah. you know, yeah. is, does her thing. Yeah. And then uh, the mom is just kind of like, but why do you have, the mom knows. It's just obvious to me. I was like, they know. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All right. That concludes our roundup. Stacy. Yay. With the what do you think questions for special Question segment. can I ask too? What yeah, you can ask too. <laughs> okay. Could you stay with someone you aren't physically attracted to? Physically? Physically. Like, will someone no grow on No for me. It's a No. Oh, stay as in you're in a relationship? Like, I mean, just even if you just met them and then you're like, I'm going to give them a chance because oh. I'm not physically attracted There's to There's got to be another element for me that is strong, that that is stronger than physical attraction. I'm not really all about looks, so it's got to be something else that draws me in anyways. Yeah. Even if you're really good looking, I'm not necessarily going to talk to you because yeah. of that. Yeah, yeah I, I see that. Okay, my thing is... You can be, I okay, I need you to be attractive, and I need us to get each other, but just because you're super attractive doesn't mean that we would get each other, so I'll have to say bye, too. But the answer for that question is no. I could not. Like, I just, I gotta go. But it's not just about the looks. It's obviously about more, but, I mean, come on. I need, <laughs> I need all the bullet points hit, okay? Mm-hmm. You just have to be attractive to me. You don't have to be, like, traditionally, oh, you're so hot. Mind you, you know, I love that, too. Mm -hmm. But I have to be attracted to you. And and could I stay with someone that I'm not attracted to? No, because, and I've said this, and I'll continue to say this, intimacy and sex are important in a relationship. And if I'm not turned on by you and you're not turned on by me, then it's going to be a big problem down the line. Mm -hmm. Right. Next question? Really good one. Okay. Would you stay in the same hotel room with someone you just met for the first time? Hell no, hell no, and hell no. No, I'm good on that. I watch enough serial killer. Yeah, investigation discovery. All that (laughs) to know that you don't know that person. Don't do it. You met them. But if they're just really cool. I'm just kidding. kidding. Stacey, you have something you want to tell us? an ID. (laughs) Well, here's my location today. Yeah. (laughs) Just give us your location. What is your answer, Ashley? No. No? No, no, no. Yeah, that's, that's... yeah, don't. A major safety issue. Yeah. All right, we're going to move on to news <laughs> and gossip. Oh, and y'all, y'all, yay, y'all. Yay, my safety. Start yay. with uh, Jeffrey. So, <laughs> Jeffrey, Jeffrey. Jeffrey stays in the news. Like, stays yeah, in the news. Do. Mm-hmm. So, Jeffrey has a new <laughs> social media account or accounts. 
uh, his oh. like Facebook okay. and okay. Instagram and all this. <laughs> but he's new to Instagram and he posted uh, this photo of himself on Instagram, which, you know, I have all the questions, you guys, all the questions. Um, and he put this as his um, caption. I'm rather new to the social media thing. Sure, I had my Facebook account where I posted some silliness or uh, sought positive thoughts for a very hard time in my life. However, my no, my new go-to is Instagram, which I'm still obviously learning. I feel awkward. Flashback to the show Sunday night, trying to build my fan base, trying to build my fan base uh, by asking for people to follow me on Instagram, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow my Facebook page, or whatever else. Luckily, I've been getting advice on how to manage it. This advice is rather conflicting most of the time. Don't write anything when you post a pic. Write something when you post a pic. Don't write so much. He goes on and on and on and on. Um, but he says, post some thirsty pictures. Post more dog pictures. And, well, I guess I'll try anything once. So here you go. He's having a conversation with himself. Right? Like, a long, like, unnecessary <laughs> right. conversation. So Weird conversation. That, that was super interesting. And then the other thing that I say that he stays in the news is... So he is now responding to all of the backlash TLC is getting about him. And if we can um, enlarge that a little bit, you can see on the top, it's all his different mug shots. Mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, him saying that he was a co convict oh and spent 30 months in jail. This is more than one time. Right. So I know that you guys, uh, if you watched us, you saw that we reported last week about his wow. various... Um, allegations and accusations but these are mug shots so there's more to this story um, and he's saying that it's all basically clickbait and not true so you know this online sleuth like myself are going to get down to the bottom of it but there's a big backlash what do you guys think like should TLC well clickbait it's the proof is there yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. Like literally there yeah that's what face. I mean that's what I'm saying that those, those are the photos there's no way around it um, moving on, wanted to just touch base a little bit with the drama between Usman and uh, Lisa. Mm. Uh, this photo, so basically Lisa, the story is this. We already know that Lisa and Usman are no longer together. What we're finding out now is that uh, he's blocked her from social media and she's calling him out on it. There was some infidelity where he was talking to another girl and there's some screenshots about that where he basically said, I wish I met you first and not this crazy lady. Um, and Lisa is now calling him a scammer um, and used, him for, used her for money. And she posted this where... It shows, like she sent money all the time, $200, $50, $150, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and then if we go to the next one where uh, she basically is trashing him, saying, you know, you could be ignoring me, you can be blocking me, but I'm going to get at you. That That's basically what she's I'm saying. I'm going to find you. I'm going to find you. <laughs> so you can do all that you want to do, but I'm still going to find you. And we move to the next. It's more receipts on her part. Um She's calling out one of the girls that allegedly Usman was talking to. Mm -hmm. And she, she literally is sending like online people to that girl's page, like spam yeah, her up, spam her up, troll her up. Yeah. So Lisa's no joke. Uh, and then this one is just more of the receipts between Usman and the supposed girl that he's been uh, DMing directly with. So, guys, it's a mess. Uh, and they're a mess, and they're going to be a real public messy mess. Mm. And that's that. So they that's are divorced. That on that. Like that's they are divorced. They got she's married. Calling it as like or God. separated. Like, or, yeah, I'm curious. At least they're not together. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So we're gonna find out mm -hmm. how it all and went if, down. And in my opinion, and if they're not officially divorced yet, there's a reason for that. I'm ready for the tell all already. <laughs> like, come on. Like, right? And the tell it all. Be, the reason would the be team. that, you know, he's still he's still trying to get his green card. Yeah. It's a lot going on. Lots going on. 90 guys. day. It never ends. Yep. Thank you for the tea, yes. Linda and Twee. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, where can everyone find you, ladies? Shuck. Oh, you guys can find me all over social media at Stacy underscore Olivas. And at 90 Day Fiance now, send me your news, send me your memes. News. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Linda, so girly, all across social media. Hit me up. 
<laughs> you guys can find me on Instagram at Ms. Ashley Marie. And thank you guys so much for watching. You can find me all over at Hey Alex Bowers. We'll see you here next week. Bye, guys. Bye. Our founder, Kevin Undergaro, and me, Maria Menunos, would like to thank you for tuning in to AfterBuzz TV. Remember, we're not just the first, we're the biggest in the world, and we're the only destination for all your favorite TV shows. Whatever you crave, we've got it. So go to AfterBuzzTV.com and check out our lineup. Buzz you later. <laughs> the views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principal.